Hi guys, good morning. Um, so today's a uh, deduction day. I'm gonna be induced today. I just got a call from the hospital like 10 20 minutes ago. So we're just headed there now. Everything is packed, and um, I don't know if you can see the car seat here as well. My pillows, just I'm literally good to go. Um, a bit nervous of course <laughs> we're excited we really are but we're really we're really nervous because like this is the first time parent so we really don't know what to expect and I'm I'm more nervous because you know I'm the one that's gonna go through all the whatever um, yeah so that's it uh, two days ago there was a bit of a scare that we had and it had to do with the baby's heart rate they were satisfied with the uh, non-stress test so we had to do an ultrasound i didn't tell anybody this nobody in my family knew none of my friends just myself and my husband because we didn't want to like worry people and it's already bad enough that the baby is past his due date so and we've been getting a lot of calls like is the baby here is the baby here so having to add more worried to people or just we didn't just want that pressure to get so if um i know my mother-in-law is gonna watch this she's gonna freak out like why didn't you tell me that there was a scare <laughs> and i know my loved ones are gonna freak out as well especially my very good friend kego because i was she was literally there with me at the hospital and also on the drive back home so she'll be wondering why i didn't tell her this i'm sorry <laughs> But now you know and then of course my other loved ones my best friend and my family sorry but now you guys know that it was a scare so anyway so the good thing is that two days later we're getting induced so baby should be out any minute now by God's grace so yeah this just did literally um, I'm, I'm tired but I think I have a bit of strength as well <laughs> Yeah, so we're just on our way and um, yeah, praying for everything to go well. hospital I'm currently in my room I've changed into the hospital gown and I've been given a whatever um, so I know what you call this thing okay and I've been given um, a wristband for identification purposes and my husband was given one as well so yeah I'll just give you like a little tour of the room I'm gonna be in and I'm I'm a bit relieved because my doctor who I've been seeing my OB GYN who I've been seeing sorry I'm just panting a bit hard I think it's just I'm just a bit nervous <laughs> he's um, on duty today so he's gonna hopefully hopefully be the one to deliver the baby you know at least I know there's a familiar face and also another lady um, I met here who was really, really nice. She's like a mother figure. You know, she's um, she's on call today. So, because I have two familiar faces. I mean, I'm not saying other, other people are not good, but the thought of just ha having or seeing two familiar faces, it just gives me a bit of comfort, you know? So, yeah, that's it. This is my hospital gown. Babies gonna be out soon <laughs> um yeah so let me give you like a mini tour of the of the room where i'm gonna be at
these are all my bags, babysit, everything, and this is where baby's gonna be. Yeah. So. Hey guys, so um I've all been set up now. Um my doctor came and he broke my water. He said I'm about um, two to three centimeters dilated, so he just broke my water. And um, yeah, this is the waiting game now. And we applied some oxytocin just to further dilate me. And that is it. That's the oxytocin. So, so far I'm okay. I'm just chilling. I brought my iPad where I watch Netflix. <laughs> And I have my airpods so I'll just put it in and just watch my Netflix and just and just chill <laughs> but so far so far so good yeah and that's um, Miss Samuela I told you about she's busy down there amazing 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 lady absolutely amazing okay I'll keep you updated as I go I don't know if you can hear that's the baby's um um heartbeat can hear the noise <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah that's the baby's heart rate so so far so far so good fingers crossed okay bye so um I'm currently four centimeters dilated and fully effaced. The contractors, uh, the contractions. Ooh. 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 long one so anyway and these masks they're not even helping gosh anyway um so i'm fully effaced and um the doctor and the nurses say everything is progressing really well um there's a an, an, an an anesthesiologist around is available. He wants to come talk to me to give me the option of getting an epidural if I want it. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. He's just gonna come any minute now. So I might probably take it later if the pain is worse. Okay, Dorothy, we'll the, see. Doctor, the doctor is coming. Okay. Hey guys, so it's been uh, seven hours now since this is uh, the downside of 5 p.m. It's been seven hours since I've been in labor now and um, I'm currently, I'm still six centimeters heading towards seven. But there's a probability, according to my doctor, there's a probability that I'm going to have um a cesarean section because my pelvis are too small and the baby is too big so it won't be able to fit in from his examination um, the baby hasn't um, the baby's head is not engaged in the pelvic area yet and <clears throat> if he comes back for another examination and it's still the same way then they, they're gonna have to wheel me into surgery but if it comes back and everything is okay, then we'll continue with the vaginal birth. But I'm really thirsty, but not allowed to drink water. So I'm being given ice chips to just chew on. Um, overall, I'm okay. I just, um, I'm just, I'm just getting very worried. But so far, the baby is okay. They're monitoring his heartbeat, so he, he's not in distress yet. So yeah, that's it. Hopefully, everything works well either way. At this point in time, I don't care. I just want the baby to be healthy. All right, guys, later. <laughs> One eternity later. 
Okay, this is gonna be part two because part one ended right there. And I actually lied there when I, when I said, um, at this point, I didn't care if it was cesarean or if it was vaginal birth. Mm -mm. I actually lied. Why? Because deep down, I didn't want cesarean because um, I really wouldn't have anyone to help me out. It's just practically myself and my husband. And I can't even see my, uh, my mother-in-law or my very good family friend, Shireen, because of COVID. So, and we wouldn't want to expose, you know, our newborn baby to anyone you know coming in just to take care of me and I heard well not really heard and have been told um, by my loved ones who have gone through cesarean birth that the healing process always takes so much longer and it's always harder and I didn't just want that so at that point in time I broke down and I was crying like I was really really crying I was in so much tears for like 15 minutes I was crying and you know the kind of tears are like <laughs> you know <laughs> that was how I was crying and next thing, a nurse came and she saw me crying frantically and she asked my husband, why is she crying? And my husband said to her that, oh, um, the doctor told her that in the next one hour, if she doesn't get up to 10 centimeters dilated, then she, he might just um, do the cesarean birth and she doesn't want cesarean. So the nurse was like, you took epidural, right? She, uh, um, I was like, yes, I had the epidural. And she was like, okay, um, just fall asleep you tend to dilate faster when you're asleep. I was like, what, really? Okay, first and foremost, I was already dehydrated from not drinking water. I was given ice chips like you saw to take and even that cup of ice chips, I wasn't allowed to finish everything. Number one, I was dehydrated. Number two, I was so, so hungry because the last time I ate was 5 a.m. in the morning. And if you saw the time, I sat then, it was like the downside of 5 p.m. So it was like, I was like so so hungry you know so I said let me just fall asleep and I fell asleep and in an hour I woke up then um, the doctor came checked me I was 10 centimeters dilated people it was like Christmas <laughs> it was like music to my ears I was so happy you know that was like the best news ever so they prepped me for um, uh, delivery and around 7 o'clock I, was, I started pushing, you know, contract, um, like con the, the contractions are like as if you want to like have a very big pull, as if you're like super, super constipated and you need to really pull and the pull, you've not drank enough liquid. So the pull is really, really strong. So that was how the contractions were. And if you're trying to push, imagine you trying to push. <sighs> anyway, um, they prepped me up for delivery and I started to push around seven o'clock and the nurse nurse sammy perfect she had a rhythm i didn't even like go through a lot of pain you know she had a rhythm that she wanted me to follow i, I don't even i don't even know how i begin to explain it now for you to understand but it was just it was just easy for me you know and um from seven o'clock to seven thirty i was pushing but taking rest in between of course and then around seven thirty i couldn't push anymore guys and then they were i told them i'm done i'm not pushing and my husband looked at me was like half of the baby is out the half it, the other half is inside and then my doctor said to me that um your son is suffering from shoulder dyslexia you know because my pelvis was too small you know so you have to bring this baby out now you have to push it we cannot drag it you have to push it so the baby can come out i was like i can't i'm done like i was literally done i had no strength in me anymore and um next thing i know the 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 hospital room was filled with a lot of nurses i don't know what was happening at that point i was like i, was, I don't i think i was almost fainting or something and then a nurse came and she just climbed on top of my bed on top of me on my waist you know and she started pressing my stomach and i said to her you're hurting me she's like no i'm not hurting you i'm helping you because your baby is gonna go into distress any minute if you're not careful I was like, what? Distress? When I heard distress, I thought of all the nine months I, I went through the pregnancy. I thought of all the 30 minutes I've been pushing. I said, you know what? No, I must push out this baby. <laughs> and then voila, <laughs> between 7.30 and 7.39, uh, I pushed the baby out and 7.40, you know, around 7.40, he was born you know and he wasn't crying and you know i've been programmed to hear that oh once a baby is born it's it cries and if it doesn't cry there's a problem <laughs> i said i looked at my husband like he's not crying he's not crying you know the whole scare of um 
what we heard, um, heard about two days ago is heart rate and then him not crying now I looked at my husband I was crying like why is he not crying why is he not crying I looked at my doctor nobody was telling me anything and the next thing I just heard this shrill yeah, yeah, yeah. that noise or that sound is the best sound in the whole world i don't know what i don't i don't know about you but that was the best sound ever when i heard that i started crying you guys i was literally crying like my husband was he came to me was like oh well, honey you did it congratulations you know so yeah that was literally it guys um i'm six weeks um postpartum now i'm slowly getting myself back and um yeah it it, it was quite the journey <laughs> It was quite a journey, but you know, I'm just happy now that um, everything is coming back to normal. Myself, my, my, um, my rhythm. Now I'm trying to find my rhythm regarding motherhood and everything, which is overwhelming. Trust me, I'm not like this all the time. I'm like, a, I'm literally like a mad person all the time, 90% of the time, you know. But yeah, I'm trying to find my rhythm, and you know, I'm just taking it one day at a time, and I have. Um, I have um, an amazing, amazing, amazing support system in terms of loved ones. You know, thank thank goodness for technology, where we get to like um, video call and I get to get some support, um, some help, some advice, and all of that. And my husband has been amazing as well. You know, we're new parents, so we're just winging it. You know, okay. Um, I think the highlight of this is to is to introduce you to the newborn he's asleep now he's quite fussy these days i think he's having a growth spot he's it's quite fussy but let me see if i can bring him let me see i'll be back okay so oh here's the little one stevie you want to say hello hey puppy no he's not in the mood <laughs> he's not in the mood to say hello you want to say hello puppy no okay no he's not in the mood <laughs> okay guys so at this point i'm going to wrap up this video thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so already <laughs> just click the subscribe button and turn on your no notification bells <laughs> okay thank you guys so much for the support and um i will see you in my next video bye